Nathan Orchard brings something to combat jiu-jitsu that you might not see from any of the other lightweights competing in this tournament, and that is a high-level rubber guard. If any of his opponents fall into his full guard, they're in trouble. I, I would say there's a 60% chance they're gonna get tapped. His rubber guard is elite, high level. His dead orchard game is uh, about as high level as you can get. So hey, but, but Dead Orchard, we're, we're, tell us, tell us about, uh, tell us about how you came up with that. Well, man, you know, to tell you the truth, it was a complete accident, and um, I was actually trying to do something that we call the pump, but uh, I just had such long legs that I had to like do something extra with them, and I ended up just triangling them, and someone did it like in one of the early, early UFCs once. Me and a couple other guys, we just started all actually kind of doing that at, at the same time. And that, but it just so happened that like I hit the most, you know, like I, I got, basically I just like made the most noise about it as far as like who I was tapping with it and and how I was how consistently I was. And so one day, you know, we actually got on the um, back in the day, 10th Planet JJ.com, the, the 10th Planet Forum was like that's where all the guys were, you know, we were all on the forum. And so I get on there one day and I'm like, hey guys, we should think of a name for this move that we're all doing. And um, and so everyone starts, oh, you should call it the Angry Orchard, we should call it this or that. I had some other ridiculous name for it. But Eddie Bravo gets on and goes, uh, he just like says Dead Orchard. And and that was it. it just stopped. Like, <laughs> That's awesome. I think someone someone that is way cooler and way more creative than us should animate that i think it would be a perfect animation of like eddie brock oh, like, <laughs> like, like, like it's just like it's like sitting in the lotus style like a monk and then just like dead orchard like come out of his mouth and just kind of go oh that's that's basically, <laughs> that's basically what happened you know what i mean and, and then and then i went on you know and i got barry yoshida with it at ebi yeah and i think in the last combat jiu-jitsu so you know i mean i hit it twice i think i got two or three last year i mean it's crazy man i get tagged in a dead orchard video every single weekend from awesome. someone all over the world like it's 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 probably the most common submission from rubber guard For, for those of you that aren't aware, Nathan, you want to give us a little breakdown of what the Dead Orchard entails? But I might sound like I'm speaking gibberish because I have to use the 10 plant terminology. That's fine. Basically, basically, if you go rubber guard, which you're just, you know, pulling your leg over their, over their shoulder, uh, sort of a thing. And then what I do is 
uh, it sounds so funny to say, but one of the, the way I started getting into it was, okay, you have mission control, which is where you kick your one leg up. But then if you kick your second leg up in front of that one, so you have both legs in that rubber cart, you know, position, that's called uh, crackhead control. Because I guess it's strong enough to control a crackhead. I don't know. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. and then what happens is you start pumping their elbows. So most people when they're, you know, uh, like in your guard, their elbows are kind of flared. Mm -hmm. But you pump their elbows in so they go inside of their uh, hip line. And then you basically, it's basically a, a double arm triangle. Right. So like a triangle choke, you only have one arm trapped. A dead orchard, you have two arms trapped. But then you turn it into an arm bar. Right. Because uh, both of the arms are, you're, you're so isolated because it's so tight, and both of the arms are trapped in. It's very you can't can't move anywhere. They aren't any of the arms, really and you and you feel like you're cool because you're like, oh, I'm not getting triangled because both my arms yeah. are in. I must be okay. And then you try to posture up, and all of a sudden you're getting armbar. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, it's it's really cool, man. It's a very innovative. And there's innovative there's move. levels, but you know, like sometimes you make people fall into it themselves other times you have to kind of force your way into it yeah. um but but it's still evolving man like it's there's still like little nuances that are changing and i mean just like jujitsu in general you know but um I, it's it's just cool to i can't remember what it was from some movie or something that i've recently seen where they said you 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 have two deaths your first death is when you die and your second death is the last time someone speaks your name oh wow and so, I was just like, damn, like, I'll live Fuck a little yeah. bit longer just from the dead That's orchard. Cool, like, I might, cool, I might have a little bit of a legacy, which uh, egoically, man, feels cool. You know, I what love I that, say? man. It's such a fucking, such a killer oh, fucking man. thing to say, man. You, like, it's such a fucking warrior thing to say, man. Like, like I really, I'll, when I die, they'll remember my name. <laughs> the thing that helped me, I feel, succeed today, my mindset, the closer we are to death, the more alive we feel, right? And going against all these savages, I feel very close to death. So I take the time during my match to be thankful to be so alive. So alive, experiencing something so intense and so real. I always remember, I'm not competing against these guys. I'm competing against myself. That's it. I told myself during every match, get out of your own way. Get out of your own way. Our mind is limitless, right? And that's the only thing that's holding us back is our mind. So get out of your own way and succeed.